What's up guys, welcome back to the 30 days of Halloween. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get this deep scar special effects makeup. I just decided to do it on my hand so I could show you a really close in zoom shot of how to do this. So the first thing you're going to need is just a couple different lip liners. I just got one lighter one and then one that's in the same color family but slightly darker. And then you're going to need some Rigid Collodion, which is a scar product that kind of indents your skin to make it appear like you have a scar or something's wrong with your skin. So the first thing you're going to do is kind of sketch out where you want your scar. You could do absolutely any type of pattern that you want, any type of scar that you want. For this one, I wanted to make it look like there was an area right here, that triangle that I'm kind of creating, that was a little bit deeper than everywhere else and then slowly kind of taper it off. So this is definitely one of the easier special effects tutorials I will ever show you how to do. Um, this right here, what I'm doing is just taking that color that is slightly darker and I'm just going to be placing this on the deepest parts of the scar and then leaving the parts that kind of taper off lighter. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to start with the first layer of Rigid Collodion and I am just going to be applying this very light handedly and as precise as possible. For the first few layers, you're going to want to really make sure that you get it right on that scar where you drew it up until it kind of starts to dent in and then we can kind of expand and make the line a little bit bigger. I will explain what I'm talking about as I go, but here's the first layer. You want to wait for it to dry a little bit before you start layer two, but when you start layer two, again, just be very, very careful where you're applying it and get it as precise as possible. So the first three layers, I would say, are going to be the most important. As you can see, it is already starting to dent in. This product is just so cool. And you'd think it would be a lot more uncomfortable than it is, but it's really, really not. I mean, it feels a little bit tight, but nothing more than like you had glue on your hand or something. So if it does start to burn or irritate your skin, of course you'd want to take it off right away. But if it just feels a little tight, then it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. So as you can see by the third layer, you can definitely start to see what the end result is going to look like. So for layer four, I'm not being as precise and the reason I'm doing this is because I want it to be dented in a little bit outside of the deepest dent. If you're just doing a basic scar, this isn't really necessary, but if you're wanting it to look really deep, you wanna do the first three layers really precise and then the fourth layer just a little bit outside of what you had been doing. This is really just going to intensify the skin that is sinking in on the sides and then just make it look a little bit more realistic. So right here what I'm doing, since that is the deepest part of the scar, this is layer five, I'm really just focusing right in on that triangle piece so that that is the deepest part of the scar. So as you can see with each layer, it just continues to get deeper and deeper and creepier and creepier. So this is the final layer I did. This is layer six. And this one again, just going to be as precise as possible. And at this point, it's so dipped in that you don't have to do a whole lot of work to make it precise. You can pretty much just let the product sink into the little dent that it's already created. So that is layer six. If you want it to look like a fresh scar, you could totally just leave it as is and powder it like I'm choosing to do. But if you want it to look like a little bit of an older scar, you could use some concealer or foundation over the top of it to just give it a little bit more of a faded effect. But what I'm doing is just applying some powder to take away some of the shine. Believe it or not, it was even shinier than this is. But this is the final Final result. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Like I said, this one was so simple, but such a fun little creepy Halloween effect. So I hope you guys are enjoying my 30 days of Halloween. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow.